autumn Christmas trees with their shiny branches and color wheels burst onto the American scene in the 1950s and 60s, and now they're making a big comeback. Really hard to find these days, really, really hard to find. The metallic tree is one of thousands of vintage Christmas items Carrie Lindstrom digs out from various basements, attics, and garages, and then sells them at the Melamine Cup, her mid-century retro shop in Jaffrey. Most of what comes in here comes directly from families who have lost a family member or they're downsizing because they really love to retain the stories behind things. Depression-era folks, even people a little bit after, they've saved everything, every, every, everything. So it's like things that haven't seen the day of light since the 50s, um, tucked away in attics and boxes and containers. And it's just, that is the thrill of the hunt is saving history. Everything in here, from the old glass ornaments and the boxes they came in, to the big plastic outdoor Santas, and Bing Crosby's Christmas album, and all the figurines conjure up childhood memories. It means so many things to so many people, and I try to save the strangest things that normally would have been tossed away. The tackier, the better. I love to specialize in what they call kitschy Christmas, which is like the really tacky, awesome, <laughs> you know, 1960s, 70s stuff that we all remember. And it's still incredibly popular, like the old wreaths that were made out of this hard plastic. Just as Carrie revels in the thrill of the hunt, her customers bask in the thrill of the find. It's pretty overwhelming. It's a uh, sensory overload. There's stuff everywhere, from the ceiling, on the, every every corner, It's and it's great. It's like, it's kind of like, um, you know, childhood memories are just everywhere here, so it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Tony Mercadante drove an hour and a half to shop here, a chance to relive his childhood. I like a lot of the retro stuff that reminds me of things I would like have seen in school or when I was a kid. Like the choir boy candles, popular in the 60s. These are original and they're only 50 cents here. You'll find plenty of bargains, including these ornaments that date back to the 1940s. Yep. And these go for like how much? So these ones in this uh, bowl are going for a dollar each, which, which is an incredible bargain. A lot, you know, other places and people will mark them up, you know, to even $10 an ornament. And, but I always try to look at things as, you know, what would I pay for that? While the Melamine Cup overflows with Christmas goodies, the shop isn't limited to just this holiday. Mid-century toys, games, clothes, kitchenware, toiletries, even food fill the nooks and crannies. Movie producers looking to dress sets shop for props here. But once cold weather moves in, Christmas takes over. It starts with a shopping bonanza the first Saturday in November. People started lining up at 5.30 in the morning, and it was wonderful. I put cocoa and donuts out, and then the doors opened at 10, and it just was, my checkout line went for two and a half hours straight. See, it just was amazing, and just people loving vintage memories. Anyone remember ceramic Christmas trees? Everybody's grandparents or parents painted them in ceramics class, and they are all the rage. Of course, they're being reproduced now, but like getting an original one from like the 60s or 70s that was made by somebody in ceramics class. That's a hot item right now. Huge, yeah, because they're, they're so nostalgic. Back then, it was fashionable to accessorize your Christmas lights. These are all things from vintage Christmas lights. Like you would put them on top of your little tiny Christmas lights and you could choose your colors. And this to me feels like Christmas heaven. Somehow, the more kitschy, the more endearing. Wait, what is this? Oh my oh, gosh. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. I love this. I love this. <laughs> no, seriously. That? So this is. This is fake snow, but this is a really old. I would say this is 60s. Actually got it from the original people, never been used. 
It's one of a handful of items Carrie won't part with. Some things here you don't want to sell. That there are some things just have to live here because it's part of the, the ambiance, you know? And so like I pull this out at Christmas every year and it's just awesome. Manufacturers are capitalizing on the nostalgia trend, making reproductions, but Carrie says it's not the same. Every single thing that is in here, they're already reproducing. But it's not as valuable because no. it's not authentic, right? No, no, no. It doesn't have the story behind it. No, and it's not as well, well made. Carrie is selling memories more than anything else. Reminders of a time long ago. What was old, once again, becomes new.